Yo right, guys, Gary aka okay, Hopeless back again. In today's video we will be looking at this rather chunky box that's just arrived for Nathumbrium Tin Soldier. Uh, this is the Kickstarter that was successfully funded in November of last year and it's for the Cats of Crumpton. So I figured I would uh, do it all on camera. Uh, as you can see box has been opened, but nothing on the inside has been yet. So we're going to do that now. Uh, let's me just get this all set up. So, um, back in a minute. Right, so, up on the desk, as you can see, box, box has been cut open. However, this is still in one piece. So we're just going to slide that up, pop that there. I could probably keep saying Cats of Crompton for as long as I wanted, and it probably still wouldn't mean much to anyone, so I'm just going to read through the blurb on the old Kickstarter campaign. There we go. So, the Cats of Crompton are, or were, domestic cats, but through prolonged contact with the arcane magics of the Dark Wood, they have become sentient and achieved human levels of intellect. These curious kitties live in the port of Crompton, near the Dark Wood and the realm of the Night Folk. We want to bring them to you as heroic 28mm scale white metal miniatures for use in RPGs and tabletop wargaming. Uh, they have been specifically designed to fulfil the core classes in 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons and come equipped with a small digital adventure designed to introduce you to a world in which you can bring these characters to life in their own way. Now I went for uh, the highest pledge you could do. so. Couple that with all of the stretch goals. Oh my god, right. There's quite a bit in here. I'm gonna have to rethink how I'm gonna open this. Give me one second. Done the easy way, which was just to place everything on the floor next to me. Still in the box, so I'm just gonna grab it out one by one. Oh my god, that's just very, very nicely packed, very nicely packed in here. And then, give a rough idea. That's all the bases. I think that's the bases for everything. Right, we've got there in the end. Right, so that is it. The box is now empty. So. The family and Tin Soldier, the curious case of the Cats of Crumpton. Twelve heroic scale cat miniatures for the world's greatest role-playing game. You see, you've got the little teddy bear. Trying to do this so the lights doesn't reflect. It's quite a nice little box, actually. Curious case, Cats of Crumpton. There's artwork. And then on the back, you've got all of the figures. So we've got a... I'll try to do this. So we've got the fighter, the fee... I on, do the fighter. Nice big chunky cat. Thief, little hairless variety. Wizard, ranger, barbarian, rogue, paladin, warlock. I realise you could probably read these names yourself, but it's quite nice. Cleric, druid, bard, and a monk. And we are focused. Let's have a look. Cats of Crompton. Ooh. So that little, nice little slip. Pop that down. There. Quite a nice little box, actually. Right, before I do that, anything on the back? Nothing on the back. Oh, wow. Just so many. I don't. Oh, looks too nice to do this. And what have we here? Okay, so I've rearranged the camera for a little just to get all of this in, so that's the box open. And there. 
they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they'd be, to be fair. So, let me get a little book, a little box with all the instructions. Not instructions, so all of the uh, information on there. So, first one out is the fighter. I'll zoom that in a little bit. Fighter, big sword, nice armor. I really do like this, uh, like the sculpt for that. So we've got the fighter, and then there is the thief. We've got the wizard. We got the ranger. We got a barbarian. Nice, giving that proper come at me, bro. Stance. Got the rogue, paladin. Ah, uh, we've got a warlock. Let's get back in focus. There he is. And we've got a female cleric. He's looking good. Uh, druid. Looks nice. They're a lot bigger and chunkier than I thought they would be. And that's not a bad thing. I got the bard. Hammering his loot. L-U-T-E. And then we got the monk. So that was the 12 of the main figures. Uh, there was also, uh, this is the Kickstarter exclusive miniature. Luna, this is what they've written on the, uh, the, what was written on the website. Luna is far too young to be going on an adventure, although it doesn't stop her trying. She currently lives in the care of an old nan. Oh, <laughs> she currently lives in the care of old nan. When she grows up, she wants to be a dragon. No one thought to tell her she couldn't. So she's got a little wooden sword. And she's dressed in a little dragon outfit, which I think is quite cute. Uh, sorry about that, the uh, postman turned up again. Uh, also included in the main box is this Kitten Knight miniature, which I think is really nice. Uh, this one was a stretch goal. I quite like the, uh, the little mouse. Oh, can you see that on there? The little mouse on his shield. Quite nice. And then got a little baggy. Various bits and equipment for all of the miniatures. Although, one thing in particular, this little hedgehog. This is Luna's arch nemesis, which I think is quite adorable. But yeah, it's also got the uh, the weapons and the banners and everything in there. So that was that box. Uh, in the top level pledge, the Aristocats was also... This lamp lighter and the gnomes. <laughs> there was also two packs of Kitten Guard, which is basically... There are a lot of miniatures here, so I won't get all of them out, but they look really nice. Uh, they got this, the Corlock and the Murder of Crows. Please excuse my son. Uh, he is very tired and very cranky at the moment. Just in case you're wondering what that noise is in the background. Um, yeah, Corlock and Crows. What a murder of crows. Because that's what you call a gang of crows. They look really nice. Yeah, look at them. So that is all of the, the, the Kickstarter. The big pledge, that's what you got in that. And then you got the stretch goals, which I'm just going to readjust that. The main stretch goals are these magical items. Zoom in there. Which are very, very cat centric. Uh, I've got the website to the side, so I'm just going to read through them. Uh, we've got the dripping tap. Why would you drink from a bowl when water from this tap tastes so good? You just see, need to find someone with thumbs to turn it on. And then you've got the box of invisibility. Mysterious box certainly seems cosy, so cosy that any cat would love to hop right into it, given half the chance. And do there we go. The swordfish. Well, that certainly looks much more appealing than what you have for lunch. Perhaps I can take it. I mean, it's yours anyway, right? Got the wand of feathers, which generally just looks like a, uh, a stick 
with a little bell on it. Can't help but look. Did it move? You're sure it did. Wow, it moved again. Oh my, this is so great. And then you've got the potted plant miniature. It smells great. It makes you feel fantastic. You have the strange urge to roll in it to eat it. You feel a little nauseous. Where is the carpet? Oh, it's catnip. Just realised. Bell of summoning. You're very proud of your new collar. Though you are concerned it may carry some sort of curse. You haven't been able to catch lunch all day. Uh, the scratching post. Rubbing your paws feels so good, but perhaps not quite right. Perhaps there's something better. Ah, oh, yes, look, there's a chair. Now that will do. And then the alluring sphere. Which, uh, just a little ball of wool. This is irres irresistible. Look at the way it rolls around. Hit it. Keep hitting it. Wait, where's it going? What is this? String. Yay, string. All of those miniatures there also one of the stretch goals is these uh, these so yeah magic item cards for all of the magic items Put that all sit down there. so yes got the wand of feathers the lyric sphere Box of Invisibility, Potted Plant, Bell of Summoning, The Swordfish, The Scratching Post, and The Dripping Tap. Uh, last stretch goal is quite a nice little bag of random dice. Random, I think that's... Yeah, free random bag of dice for all factors. And we are very fond of dice in this household. We don't really play games to use the dice, but we like dice less. Oh, that's all pretty low numbers. That's all good. That. And there was an addition. Um, which I saw and thought, I've got to add this. And it's uh, the dark cat. Because, damn it. It's a cat with wings and a huge halberd. He looks nice. That is the Cats of Crumpton Kickstarter. I'm so happy it turned up today. Um soon as I have got through the orcs from the Prophecy's Wolf set, these will be my next ones to start. So, uh, what did you guys think? Did you know about the Kickstarter when it was running? Do any of these look appealing to you? Are you interested? I'll put a link down below to Northumbrian Sin Soldier's website because I'm sure that these will turn up over the next few weeks slash months. Whenever. I don't really know how these things work. Um, but yeah, I really like them. I'm really happy I backed it. You've got so much stuff in here. Uh, I kickstarted this for... Yeah, I pledged £98. All in. That's a lot of miniatures. <laughs> That's a lot of miniatures. This is going to keep me going for a while. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, all of that stuff down below. As always, I'm Gary, aka Hopeless, and I hope to see you in the next video. So until then, see ya!